late 1960s, early 70s, things were changing. No more passive wife waiting on the husband. So who should come along in 1972 but Maribel Morgan and her book, The Total Woman? <laughs> Definitely your father's Oldsmobile. <laughs> her marriage had gotten out of whack, she said. So she bought all the marriage books she could find. She took self-improvement classes. She read psychology and the Bible. And she came up with the plan that saved her marriage. The four A's. Admire him, appreciate him, accept him, adapt to him. <laughs> <laughs> it's only when a woman surrenders her life to her husband, reveres and worships him, and is willing to serve him, that she becomes beautiful to him. A priceless jewel. The glory of femininity, his queen. Clearly, I was not destined for royalty. <laughs> To that end, she suggested waltzing to the door in a cloud of powder or cologne to, re to, to greet his arrival home. Better yet, dress in a costume to invite renewed attention. Be a pixie or a pirate, a cowgirl or a showgirl, or welcome him home enveloped only in saran wrap. <laughs> Well, I thought that Irma Baumbach did the best send up of this notion when she purported to follow the advice she'd read in The Subtotal Woman <laughs> by Clarabelle Sweet. It was true, she said. She didn't pamper her husband. But she'd give it a try to rekindle that spark. She'd dress in a costume to breathlessly meet him at the door. The only thing she had at hand were her son's uh, football pants, jersey, and helmet. <laughs> Said she felt about as sensuous as a bride with a lip full of Novocaine. <laughs> Nevertheless, when she heard the car in the driveway, she flung open the door and she said, It's a scoreless game so far. <laughs> Sisters of the Quill and Skillet at the